Hey guys, Nylon here with episode 8 of my Minecraft Let's Play. A lot of work's been done off camera, and yeah, I'll go ahead and give you a quick update, and then we'll get to work on what I have planned for today. Uh, so first off, I should show you, show you this. This is a new storage room, and it needs lit up a bit more, uh, but I don't have any torches on me. Uh, I built this with the time I had yesterday, so just a quick build nothing special just did a wood on the outer and then some fence posts going down uh, just to break up the textures and then in here I added an infinite spring uh, I'm planning on to add a pumpkin down here so it lights up the water uh, but for example if you just go in here I'll use this water bucket right here and you go in yeah you get your water pretty simple and I'm gonna need that for what we're gonna do today um, and I also added a trash can over here pretty useful when you don't have when you have items that you don't need so say I want to throw out that and it's gone right into the cactus um, I also did some work on the tree farm uh, did a wood half slabs so it would match up with this wood right here and the reason I redid this right here is because I didn't really think it blended too well, and I want this world to look really nice. I don't want to just throw everything together. Uh, I hope you guys can understand that. And I also replaced this for wood, and that makes that look uh, a little bit weird. So I might put fence posts there instead, um, but I think we're going to use that for now. And I also did something that made a huge difference in the room. Um, I put smooth stone here. Now this is going to blend the half stone slabs and the wood um, so it looks like a kind of natural cave system well I guess it doesn't really look like that right now but we're gonna get to working on making it more natural um, but as you can see I removed the melon farm I wasn't pleased with it last episode so yeah it's gone and I kinda smoothed it over and I got, I got all the pistons and everything in the redstone so you don't have to worry about me wasting resources. Um, but yeah, I wasn't pleased with it, so I took it down. And yeah, we're going to be working on a different melon farm today. Different design. Much more compact and uh, efficient. This is a design by Sumavoid, so I'll link his channel in the description. Um, but we're going to get started on we're going to get started on making it. I have it set up over here. I've been working really hard on it. I need to get some torches on me, I really do. Um, I already did one uh, of the pillars, but this one is still a work in progress, so I'll build this one with you guys, um, so you can guys can get an idea of how to build it. Um, yeah, I'll tell you a story real quick where I go to get some torches. Why did that just happen? Okay, so I was playing Ace of Spades. Um, it's a game that Etho showed in his Let's Play. Um, it's actually pretty cool. You get to uh, shoot other people. Uh, it's kind of like Minecraft combined with uh, Call of Duty. And I think it's uh, pretty awesome. So I had to go at that. And I actually saw Etho in one of the rooms. And I talked to him a little bit. Um, it was Etho and Paws playing. I was playing with them and a couple other guys. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. Now, I don't know Etho, Etho personally, we just uh, played that game, so I got lucky with him coming in the same uh, lobby as me, but you guys could j should go check out that game, because it's pretty awesome, um, of course, the only reason I found it was because of Etho, but we're going to get started on building this, so I'm going to get prepared, um, maybe throw away some stuff that I don't need, and I'll show you guys how to build this. So I got all my stuff situated here. And I forgot to mention one thing. I did get my glass texture changed, and that is awesome. Uh, I can't believe I forgot to mention that. And I want to give a shout out to Cantaloupe, I think it is. Cantaloupe. Not sure if that's how you say it, but I think it's Cantaloupe with a K. Anyways, I'll probably post his name in the description because he helped me get this texture. Uh, this is by Assumavoid. Um, I'm sure you guys watched him. But yeah, he helped me get the, the glass texture for 1.3. So yeah, a big thanks to him. Helped out a lot. So yeah, go check him out. 
uh, he makes a uh, oh, Blinding of Isaac let's play and I watched some of that it's pretty high quality stuff so yeah go check him out if, if you haven't but anyways we'll uh, get working on the melon farm so as you can see here uh, I have two towers this is gonna be for uh, the pumpkins this is gonna be for the melons and I'm yet to get the melon seeds but that will be done shortly so basically what happens it's uh, four melons per layer as you can see it's much more compact than my other design but here I'll show you basically what it does there's redstone torches under here pointing to these blocks on both sides opposite corners right there and those will turn these torches default off let me go ahead and build the next layer and then I just put oh I built, I'm building this wrong how am I going to do this there we go and I'm going to die of hunger soon it's too bad so yeah I put I'll show you this layer so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing so basically these two torches will uh, power this block right here I'm turning these two torches default off same with this and there's ants all over my computer what the hell is wrong why are there ants here okay give me a sec let me kill these ants there we go okay so yeah these torches will be default off and then you place pistons in each corner and these torches will power these two pistons and these ones will power these two so that basically completes a layer uh, you just need to till the soil in each corner and put a melon seed and then a, a pillar of water through the middle and that will bring all the drops to a central point so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build a couple more layers pretty simple to build yeah I'll probably uh, cut out some of this so you guys don't have to watch me uh, build like 20 layers of a melon farm I'm actually only going to do 7 layers so it won't be the highest yield melon farm but it'll get us what we need and that is jack-o-lanterns shit and uh, how am I gonna get back up there? Jack o' lanterns and food, melons. And I need to go get some melon seeds soon. I'm also out of food. I'm gonna die of hunger. So I'm gonna finish this layer right here. And I'll probably cut the recording and come back when I've finished the rest of the layers. So I finished building the melon farm all the way up and I've done some work with uh, filling in the gaps and also using a different type of wood. I used some dark wood and I also wired the whole thing up uh, off camera. So I should show you what I've done. So yeah, I filled in the gaps right here like I said. Um, this is just going to make it look a little bit nicer, I think and so I'll show you the wiring real, wiring real quick and so basically when I push this button it activates this and it turns it off and that will um, turn on, that will turn off, that will turn on and it'll just be a sequence all the way up powering all the pistons and I've wired that around here so the pulse will get carried from here to here so it uh, activates both rows and I haven't wired uh, this to here uh, just because if you want to get melons at one time uh, you can get melons and if you need pumpkins you can get pumpkins uh, but I think I'm going to leave the redstone showing uh, just to show well actually I probably should cover it up that's going to be a hard task seeing that it'll make everything look a lot bulkier so I pretty, I'm pretty sure I won't do that um, so I do have some glass here that's going to be for uh, placing here so the water stream will run down and I'll be able to collect my drops in this middle point right here 
So if I look up here, um, there's seven layers, and I need to fill those all in with uh, the melon seeds. And I'll do a couple right now. I just need to make a hoe. And I also do need to get some uh, melon seeds. That'll be a task that might take a little while. Because I need to find an abandoned mine. And I think I know where one is. I found one on my map. It's a, like a little ravine and an abandoned mine shaft. I didn't uh, explore it. But I know there's one around here. So basically what you do when you're up here, you see all the pistons. So you're going to want to take your hoe. Till that and that. Don't know why that all that soil is hydrated already. Damn it. Gotta light it up. Gotta light it up. So I'll have to put a source of light here and here. That'll do that pretty well, I think. Let's retill this. So I'll basically just do this all the way up to the top. And I'll be back when I find some uh, of the melon seeds. And also when I'm done placing down all these pumpkins. Hopefully that will be enough light for here. But we will uh, we'll see. I've been exploring an abandoned mine for a little while now. And finally found some melon seeds on this chest. So I'll take that and we'll be on our way to finishing the melon and pumpkin farm. So that's really great that we found that. Uh, took a little while, but uh, I'll show you where we are on the map. We're right here next to a ravine. Yeah, this is where I saw it, pretty sure. And yeah, we'll head back to the base and we'll finish working on the, the melon and pumpkin farm. Alright, so I made it back with the pumpkin seeds, or melon seeds I should say, safely. And I've done a little bit of work. I put this uh, dark wood here. And I put some glass here. And I also put the water stream going from the top down on the pumpkin farm because that one is pretty much good to go. Don't know if any pumpkins have grown. I'll go check. I don't think any of them have. Let's see here. See, so yeah, it's just a water stream going all the way up to the top. Yeah, it looks like they're still uh, making their way to being grown pumpkins. But I have planted the melon seeds in here and I bone mealed them up so we could get a uh, a lot more melons, melon seeds so we can finish uh, stacking it all the way up. So that's basically what I've done now and I still need to work on the flooring in here a little bit. Not sure what I'm going to do for that. I think I might continue the stone bricks in here. But we will see. So I'll be back when uh, all the stuff is grown and we're ready for a test drive. And I'll probably clean some more stuff up and that will probably be the end for today. So as I was waiting on this to grow, I decided to uh, dig down a level and we're going to work on the floor real quick. Um, just so while those grow. See if any of these have grown yet. Nope. So I'm going to do a checkered pattern. I'm pretty sure that's going to be what I'm doing. But first I'm going to... Good, I'm not out of wood. First I'm going to lay these down, and then I'll start with the checkered pattern. So it's going to go like this. Oh, and actually I added a uh, dark wood all the way up. So that looks a lot nicer. Haven't gotten anything growing yet. Hopefully we'll get some soon. Um, yeah, back to... Uh, the Ace of Spades game. Um, it was pretty lucky of me to find Etho on there. Uh, not sure if it was him, because I've heard that a lot of people are trying to like pose as Etho on the game. So, because I saw a lot of Ethos, but I'm pretty sure that that one was him, because I was like, I asked him when he was gonna kill uh, MC Gamer, and he says you'll just have to wait and see. So, it sounds like classic Etho. But maybe not. 
because I saw a lot of instances of him when I was playing. Am I doing this right? Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm doing this right. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I like that. Didn't mess up anywhere, I don't think. I think I'm going to actually continue this into the other part. Like that. Yeah, that's... Oh, thought that was... Holy shit, what's burning? Something's burning. No, that better not be burning. No, nothing better... Oh, crap, I'm right next to a lawful lake. Please don't tell me, mother. Oh shoot! How did that happen? Do I have any water? I do have ice. We'll do. We'll use that. Crap! There's a lava lake below us. That does suck. We can probably bro block it off though. Hopefully that won't. I'm just gonna assume that's not gonna do anything else. I really want to build this out of wood. So I'm just going to assume. And I should probably fill that all in with smooth stone, and I don't have any. Let's give this one more last... One last, uh... Test? No, nothing. Nothing yet. Alright, so what did I do over there? I added... Oh shit, son of a... How the hell am I supposed to get rid of this mother effing lava lake? I just want to get rid of it. Alright, I'm going to take care of this piece of crap. Hopefully I won't fall into lava right now. Oh, saved. Alright, yeah, I'll finish this up because it seems like it's going to be a pain in the... You know what? We're going to take a break from building the melon farm for a sec and enchanted diamond pickaxe because I have 32 levels. Didn't even realize I did, but we have it, so hoping for fortune 3 or silk touch. Let's see what we get. A decent pick. Seems like I haven't gotten a bad, bad pick yet. Um, like, really. This is all I've been getting, like, efficiency five, 4 on breaking 3, so that would be good for digging because... I'm almost out of tools here. You can see I'm not doing too well on them. I just got this, this, and this. And the one I'm using right now, which I'll probably repair with another tool if I get a bad enchantment. But it doesn't seem to be that way. Oh, hey, zombies. Alright, so I did remove the lava lake below. I got a ton of obsidian. I got like a stack and a half. All those trees grew. Doesn't seem to be, to be burning now. God, I can't talk. And yeah, I was I had an idea, you know, how you can break the melon stalks and get um, extra seeds, like two seeds, for example. I think that's. I got one there. Let's see how many get here. Okay, maybe my theory is wrong. Oh, there we go. There we go. Five seeds one extra not the biggest of deal oh the reason are these aren't uh, growing is because the soil is not hydrated that's why so I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit for all these damn seeds to uh, grow so I'll put that one there I do have torches let's light this up a little bit more let's hop down here I did do a harvest on the pumpkins, and I was able to get some. And did I forget smooth stone? Yes, I did. Uh, looks like we're going to have to do a test with the pumpkins without the pressure plate here, so... Let's hope for the best. Let's see if we got any. Ooh, we got some. One pumpkin. Let's see if any got stuck. Actually, holy crap, 25? Are you kidding? No, I think I already had those. <laughs> wow. Fail. Thought I actually had a lot there for a second. 
Yeah, let's see if these first ones have grown. They have. Looks like all of them have pretty much grown. No. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so it's looking good. I put ice here, as you can see. And I'll show you what I did to the lava lake under. I completely destroyed it. Yeah. Completely destroyed. So hopefully it won't burn. This is uh, three blocks below. So I'm pretty sure lava can't spread that far. Because in real life, lava can't really spread that far. I don't think. Uh, I missed a block there. Now this is lo place is looking uh, pretty nice now. Just got to finish up a few minor tweaks here and there. Um, but it's working well. Don't think we'll be able to do a test run this episode. Sorry about that, guys. It's just I'm not going to wait around for those things to grow. But we'll do another test run on the melon, see if we get any more pumpkins. Yeah, we get, we get another pumpkin. It's pretty good. This is a very nice design, guys. Uh, thanks to Assumavoid for making it. He has a nice tutorial on how to make this, and he, he has a lot of great tutorials. So if you haven't seen him already, go check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. And I'll link the, the melon and pumpkin farm in the description. So yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.